Britain's biggest coal-fired power station is also the country's biggest emitter of the greenhouse gas CO2. But it has another claim to fame. It burns more biomass than any other power station in the world. Drax Power Station in the north of England burned a million tonnes of biomass last year, generating 12% of its electricity. Peter Emery says they're already in transition. They're going green. We are a coal-fired power station. We want to contribute to moving towards a low-carbon economy. Uh, and uh, we see biomass uh, as, 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 as a way to do that. Carbon capture and storage as well may have a role, but we see that as five and ten years down the road. And um, if you're trying to reduce CO2 today urgently, then this is a good way to do it. Drax has invested more than $130 million in biomass infrastructure, including this automated pelleting plant. We tend to burn material that is already produced, uh, but is not being put to good use. And, and that's how you industrialise this, this process and how you keep it cost effective. But farming for energy is a controversial and growing activity, helping to push up world food prices, according to critics. Chris Bradley is one of a hundred farmers in this part of the country growing miscanthus, or Asian elephant grass for Drax, but not on premium land, he says. Putting this on grade one or two land is probably not an option and possibly not even morally right, I, I, I wouldn't know, but certainly on the lower grade soils like I've done, yeah, it, it is a good option. While there's much attention focused on the green credentials of solar, wind or wave power as possible solutions to the world's search for a clean energy supply, it seems the established electricity industry is already cleaning up its act with the fuel found in abundance the world over. Stuart McDill, Reuters, in the north of England.